on cartridges with the head built into the cartridge, like Hewlett Packard, Samsung, most of Canon, and Lexmark. Do not use an Epson cartridges, brother, and Canon cartridges without print head. An inject nozzle has a diameter of about 45 microns, which is about half the width of a human hair. When the cartridge become empty, the ink trapped in the nozzles is exposed to air from the inside and the outside. The ink begins to dry, and when dry, forms a slug of solid material in the nozzles. What you see on the paper is skipping, banding, or no print at all. Remove the clogged ink cartridge from the printer. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Use a clean, soft cloth and isopropyl alcohol to clean the electrical conducts inside the carriage of the printer. Locate the copper-colored electronic circuit strip on the cartridge. Wipe it with isopropyl alcohol. Run the printhead cleaning utility that came with your printer. Locate the printhead on the bottom of the cartridge where the ink comes out of the cartridge. Gently and slowly wipe off any dried or crusty ink with a cloth dampened with water. Whenever possible, use distilled water. Especially if you have hard water or are concerned about mineral deposits from your tap water. Hold the print head under a stream of hot water for some minutes. Then, dry the cartridge and reinstall in the printer. Fill the saucer with hot water. If the print head is badly clogged, you can add a small amount of ammonia or soap or bleach. Place the cartridge in the solution for about two hours or more. Note that the cartridge is put in so that only the head is under the water. Water should not be boiling. Then dry the cartridge and insert it into the printer. Place some old newspapers in the counter of the sink. Hold the print head under a water tank running warm water for 10 minutes. Place your finger over the tap to create back pressure. This allows you to squirt the water into all crevices of the print head. Then dry the cartridge and insert it into the printer. Very carefully, use compressed air in the ventilation hole. The air will force the ink to flow through the print head. Make attention. Do it at open air. Or put the cartridge on some paper towels in an area where you can tolerate a spill. You can also use a syringe or squeeze bottle. Cover the print head with a damp cloth. Attach the hose of a vacuum to the print cartridge nozzle. For only a few seconds at a time, turn on vacuum. Repeat process until it flows again through the print head. Blow off the excess ink with toilet roll.